Good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm graduating. If you're new to my channel you might not know that over the last few years I've actually been doing a PhD in music performance and I finished in March this year and then passed my PhD in about July. I got the news that I passed. And so now it's graduation day which is so exciting. So I thought I would just sit down with you guys and put on my makeup and chat to you and then I'm sort of vlogging the rest of the day a bit as well. It's kind of like a get ready with me slash vlog. But I'm starting out with my Tarcha Silk Canvas Primer. Going in with this one today because I've got about, I've got to wear my makeup for 12 hours. <laughs> Longer than that even because it's like 8 o'clock now when I'm putting it on. So 14-ish hours. It needs to look nice for at least 12. The reason I'm going in with this one and not like my beloved Hourglass one is that this doesn't have a sunscreen in it. And in case there's like flash photography, I just wanted something that wouldn't flash back. And I love this primer. I think it does a really good job as well for longevity. And the sunscreen that I'm actually wearing to protect my skin is a chemical screen. So it doesn't really have flashback. You want to avoid something that's got like a mineral screen in it. So like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, because they can cause a bit of flashback so my foundation is the Lancome Tate Adult Ultra Wear. This does actually have a sunscreen in it too but it's again uh, a chemical screen so it is not going to flash back hopefully. <laughs> this is the shade 008 and the reason I'm picking this well it was a favorite in my Anna Awards because it is so beautiful on the skin it's a great color match for me and it lasts a long time so it was a no-brainer to choose this one for my graduation day makeup. And I'm using my Ella Cosmetics sponge to blend it in, which again was another award winner. But yeah, I'm actually feeling a little bit anxious this morning, like in a good way. It's kind of like anticipation. It's a little bit more nervy for me because as a PhD graduate, I have to like sit on the stage or I have to do like this the walk-in ceremony with all the like professors and I have to sit on this stage for the um entire graduation which is just kind of like I don't know I'm just nervous about that I don't know how I feel about being stuck up on stage the entire time it's kind of intense and I also don't know how many music PhD graduates are graduating with me it's a little bit different to like I feel like the science PhD graduations would have like a lot of people graduating but there might only be a few of us we'll see that looks nice so I did two pumps of that gonna take a little sip of coffee in my little penguin mug so funny because like we have Christmas in summer so a little penguin wrapped in a scarf is like the most odd thing really. Um, but you see lots of winter sort of paraphernalia here in Australia for Christmas and he's so cute gone for six dollars at Coles. Alex was not impressed. I didn't even show him I just put it straight in the dishwasher when I got home and he opened it up and he's just like what is this? <laughs> oh, so funny. Anyway for concealer I'm using the Infallible More Than Concealer by L'Oreal. Again it's so reliable. <laughs> it's a great colour and it will stick around and yeah I'm just using all my like most reliable products today just so that my skin and makeup holds up as well as possible I wore a lot of these products yesterday too and my work wipes around for a bit of a Christmas party slash PhD celebration dinner and it was 40 degrees yesterday <sighs> so hot. It was only meant to be like 35. I feel like it, it got a lot hotter than it should have. But my makeup, I was wearing this makeup and it did kind of melt off by like the end of the day. Like I was wearing it from really early in the morning and by the time it got to about 5 p.m. it was so chunky. But the cool thing is I feel like these products blend in really well with like a sponge so I just kind of blended everything out, added a little extra just to kind of top it up and it looked good. It looked fine so that was helpful but today thankfully a cool change came through during the night so it is only going to get to like 22 23 today which is so much better it's like the perfect weather because you don't want anything too hot i feel so bad for the people graduating yesterday that had to be in like hogwarts gowns in 40 degree weather that would have been horrible <laughs> but it's going to be like so pleasant not cold but not hot so thank you universe for delivering me a gorgeous perfect weather day. It's also good photo weather, although I think the cloud might burn off. Helpful for filming because I'm not getting that crazy lighting going in and out. It's just staying nice and consistent for you guys. Of course, models prefer a mineral veil. Don't use a silica based powder on your wedding day, graduation day, flash photography day. <laughs> this is a mica based powder. So it is nice and sort of glowy on the skin, but it sets your makeup and it doesn't have flat flashback. So 
it's good i am just yeah feeling a little nervy but it's okay the first thing the reason i'm getting ready so early because i did not plan initially to be up at like seven getting ready but it's because we have alex and i have a graduation brunch to go to at 10 o'clock so my faculty has like just a music sort of student brunch on um, which will be really nice. So that's from 10 to 12. So we need to leave about 9.30. So I'm just, you know, I've got to get ready in the morning. And we're not gonna wear like what we're wearing to the graduation tonight. We're gonna wear something just slightly more, you know, it's not really casual, I'm still wearing a dress, but it's not as formal as my like actual graduation dress. So we're gonna go to the brunch and then we've got to come back and sort of freshen up, change. We're going around to my parents' Airbnb. They arrived yesterday. Um, and we'll have some like drinks and stuff and then go over to the graduation. It starts at five, but we need to be there like two hours before to pick up my gown. I'm using the Benefit Cheekathon palette today. This has been something I've really gotten back into using the last like couple of weeks. So this is a little bit of a DIY version. I swapped out the original Hula bronzer in here for the Hula Light. So this is actually the Hula Light bronzer. And I also tried to squeeze in the California blush here too, to, in that random gap that was in here for the brush. I actually love my like, DIY palette a lot better. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with Hula Light on my Flower Beauty brush. This is nice because it is actually a matte bronzer and funny in my honorables I was saying like I hate matte bronzers I never use them anymore. This is probably my favorite matte bronzer. I don't use it that often but it is really nice and it's light and it's nice and warm but it blends beautifully like I think it's actually really nice. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of got back into using this just as, just as I was saying that I like never use matte bronzers. It's just so funny, it's always the way. No, but it's nice. I still think I prefer like satiny, glowy finishes, but I don't know. Sometimes you just feel in it. So, but yeah, it's gonna be a really long day. And then after the graduation finishes, there's like a drinks and nibbles thing at the venue and then we're going out for dinner. So it's gonna be a really long day, but like super fun. And I'm just gonna like, Embrace it and just be really tired tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be over 40 degrees again. It's just so up and down. It's just crazy. It can be 20 degree difference between days. I think I'm going to go with the California blush. It's kind of like NARS Orgasm and that's kind of like a nice safe colour for me. I tried Dallas again the other day and I used to love that blush but I think it's just, I don't know. It, I didn't love it on me as much as I used to. But this one is a nice pinky peach. It just gives me a little bit of colour, but not too much. I think Dallas, I might have just put it on a bit strongly. I'm not sure. Pretty. And then for highlight, MAC Double Gleam. Look at how much pan I've got in there. Just love this. But yeah, if you are newer to my channel, basically if you've joined my channel this year, go check out my weekly vlogs, like the very, very beginning of the weekly vlog series, because I have a bunch of vlogs sort of around like my PhD submission and stuff like and just working towards my final submission and I don't know I think they're kind of fun like I've gone back and watched my PhD submission day vlog like five times <laughs> like this is why I film the vlogs on these special days um yes it takes a little bit more thought like you can't just completely just relax and go with the flow obviously for me it's worth it because it's just like capturing these really special memories and it just takes like a little bit more effort than thinking about taking photos do you know what I mean like it's just one I'd be doing my makeup now anyway so it's kind of fun to like sit here and film it and oh so it looks really nice I want to go with something kind of quite classic obviously with my makeup but um also want it to show up enough like a fine line I'm just using my Etude House Drawing Eyebrow Slim in grey brown. Um, and I think for this brunch this morning, I'm going to do a nude lip. And then I might change to a red for later because I've got red trim on my gown. We will see. It might look too matchy matchy, I'm not 100% sure. But if I do decide to go with a red lip later on, I think it'll be the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon because it's such a nice classic red and I want something a little bit more like matte. Okay. Eyeshadow, you guessed it, Nas. Contemplated using my Pat McGrath palette because it's you know, a special occasion day, but the look I want to do is pretty much exactly the makeup I did in my last video. <laughs> that recreation of that sort of very neutral eye look. So I just want to do that because I know it looks good and it'll work with a neutral lip or a red lip. So I've got to kind of like keep my eyes pretty, not subtle, but neutral in tone. So yeah, I'm going to skip through this bit because if you want to see how I do it, just check out my last video. 
Alrighty, before I put my false lashes on, I'm going to do my lips. I'm going in with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. This is in the shade Lavender and Lace. Overline those a little bit. Um, I was going to use MAC Blankety, but I actually think that ALF T Rose might be better. It's a little bit more mauve -y. Yeah, that'll look nice with my dress, I think. And kind of blot it in. So it just kind of looks like a natural lip colour. And of course for lashes I'm going to use my Corpse Beauty Jade Lashes because they're not enormous. <laughs> Alright, so that's how my makeup turned out. I think it looks really nice. I added a little bit of Benefit Dandelion Blush on top because my cheeks were looking a touch too warm toned. So I just put a little bit of pink blush on top and it's just neutralised it a little bit to match my lip colour. Now I have to do something with my hair. How long do I have? Oh, about 10 minutes. So firstly, I'm going to go through and pop in some dry shampoo. This one is by Aveda. Alrighty, so I opted just to use my round brush and just kind of gave myself a second day bouncy blow wave. <laughs> And I'm just going to put a little bit of volumizing powder in this side. Um, this is the Kevin Murphy Powder Puff. It's just like a volumizing powder. It's really powerful. You've got to be kind of, kind of careful not to use too much. So, just going to sprinkle a little bit of that into my roots. And then give it a bit of a massage. That's nice. So yeah, just really simple. Um, but styled and I feel like with my graduation bonnet on that will actually look nice. I think I hope it's really difficult because with the graduation hire They only give it to you at the venue like you can't get it earlier Which is really annoying because when I graduated with my bachelor in New Zealand We got the gown like a week before so we could like, you know style our whole outfit in here around it, but here you just go pick it up like a couple of hours before the graduation and then do it and then hand it back that day. So it's kind of like you just have to hope that your hairstyle and stuff works with it. Alrighty, so this is my outfit for the brunch this morning. We're just about to head off. So this dress I got from Chic. I'm actually wearing a Chic dress tonight as well. It's funny. Um, but I got this like last summer. So it's a little old one, but it's just nice for like day wear. And I've got um, my Mi Piaci Lhasa heels on in gold, which I'll probably wear tonight, as well as these La Vista earrings, which again, I think I'll wear tonight. So I'm just probably going to change out my dress and maybe my lipstick. But yeah, I'm really happy with this little look. They're amazing. That is so cool. Thank you, hun. Right. That's really cute. I'll just float around until they. Gas and we need to put weights on them. We don't have to, but you can't. Like, I thought it looked good floating up like that. Yeah. <laughs> we can put weights down and it'll be. Yeah. Really cool. Exactly. No, that's cool. Cute. Let's get a photo with them. <laughs> oh, don't move, don't move. Get it. Go. Hey. Maybe we do some over in the kitchen. I might be able to rest them against the ceiling. Yeah. That was fun. I think we managed to get some good photos in the end. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll take some more later on when we come back and I'll put on my actual like graduation dress. Alrighty, so we've gotten home from the brunch and I've changed into my actual graduation outfit. And we took a few extra photos with the balloons because I really wanted them in this dress. <laughs> this dress is from Chic, as I said earlier, both of my dresses today were from Chic. Uh, and then I've got my gold shoes on, still got my earrings on. I'm not sure about the red lip actually anymore, so I've just kept my nude on and I might, I might change it, I'm taking it with me. Um, I put a few extra curls in that through my hair as well, but they flopped a little just because I did it in a hurry and it's so hot, like my roots are getting really sweaty, which sounds so gross, but oh, I'm not happy with my hair anymore, so it's a bit disappointing. Hopefully things will look nice like at the venue. And the bow actually I unpacked and I attached it on with little domes so that when I have to wear my actual graduation gown over top, I can take the bow off. Otherwise I'd have very lopsided shoulders, so the big bulky bow comes off and I'll just pop it on my... Alex's bag, let's be real, I'll put it in Alex's bag when I graduate. So yeah, now we're off to have lunch at my mom's and then we'll go go and do this graduation thing. <laughs> Let's get back. 
I gotta pick up myself a sun hat for the day. <laughs> like 14 hours in those heels <gasps> never had such sore feet I was like hobbling home but anyway we are home my balloons look really cool up there <laughs> the light I hope that's not gonna like pop them we might need to move them they can just hang out there <laughs> for the night but anyway um yeah crazy but I'll have to show you guys my PhD it's so exciting. There we go, the University of Melbourne. Oh my gosh, such an amazing experience. I have to put it into my frame tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, it was such a fun time. It was so nice having all my like, family there and stuff. And oh, we went out for some Japanese food after. My makeup actually held up not too bad. Like I'm a little bit shiny, but I had a full on like hat on my head and it's kind of just, I've got a bit of hat here. But it, um, the mark, like it didn't really rub off my makeup very much, so that's awesome. It's been such a long day, I'm definitely going to hop in the shower now and try and like soothe my poor tired feet. Like I used to party hard, you know, when I was like 19, 20, like in Wellington, we'd go out in heels and I remember always getting really sore feet, but this is different. Because it was so hot yesterday and it was still pretty warm today in the actual building and like my little feet turn into little puff balls. <laughs> Thanks, dear. But thank you so much for watching, following along with my PhD journey. I don't care about your <laughs> Get down to my level, please. I can't stand on my tiptoes and it hurts. Okay, we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. <laughs> Just angle it. Um, thank you so much for following along with my journey and supporting me to get this. It was really special. It's been a long journey, hasn't it? I saw today on Facebook, five years ago, I posted the announcement that I had got accepted into the program, won this big mm. scholarship, was going to be starting in March. Like that was 2014, the 19th of December, 2014. So it was like a memory that came up on Facebook today. I thought, how fitting that was exactly five years later going off to graduate today. today. Yeah. Wow. It was literally the, to the day. It was amazing. It was pretty cool. So it's really been like a five year process from when I first had to make my proposal and apply and then get in and do all that. And then this year I submitted. So thank you very much. And we'll talk to you guys in our next video, my next video. Might be us, might just mm. be me. Your glasses. It'll work. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye.